morning and welcome to coffee with G. I feel like I have to do these arms every time I say it. Morning! And last week I did a very funny video about Dear Tom, Dear Carrie, uh, which a lot of you appreciated, so thank you for appreciating it. I actually found it really funny and it makes me laugh to watch it, so I'm glad that I'm spreading the joy. And then the week before that I talked about becoming an author, because so many of you have asked how I became an author, so I thought that was a good subject to tackle. And then a lot of you have been asking about my working day, about my writing day, and how I go about writing. Well, I'm a lot better than I used to be, let's start by saying that. I used to be terrible. My working day used to consist of me waking up, uh, you know, a reasonable time, late, having breakfast, spending most of the morning on social media, having lunch, then having a nap before I got to work. Getting work done used to be quite a slow burner, but now obviously I've got buzz and I don't have that luxury. Things are a lot quicker, you know, I've got a set amount of time to work and I just need to get in there and get on. I think I've picked up some good habits now, I'm very productive with my time. So, I figured rather than telling you what my writing day is like, I'd actually just give you tips on how to make your writing day or your whatever you're doing in your office or creative mind, how to make it a little bit more productive. Give yourself a target. I have a target of 1,500 words a day. Sometimes when I'm on a roll and it all just flows out and I get way more than that, other times I'm struggling to put a few sentences together. Some days more productive than others. Give yourself a target, something you want to achieve in that day. Get a comfy chair! Now I don't really have a comfy chair, I've got this swivelly thing. I would say get yourself a really good chair. <laughs> I would like a really good chair. Maybe that's actually a tip for myself, buy myself a nice chair. Now, this is a sad one. Don't have any nice chocolates or any jar of Nutella in the cupboard. Because when I'm writing sometimes, all I can think about is Nutella, Nutella, Nutella. I find myself going, oh I don't quite know what I'm writing right now. I'll just go into the kitchen and get myself a spoonful of Nutella while I think about it. This is not productive, because the minute you sit down again, you're thinking Nutella, Nutella, Nutella. And it, it's just not good ban those things from your cupboards. They're real big distractions and they, they talk to me. Does your jar of Nutella ever talk to you? Mine does. Be adaptable. A couple of times I found myself uh, in London or in other places where I've had a few hours to kill and I've just got my iPhone out and my iPad out and just sort of started writing and it's actually amazing how productive that time can be, especially if it's spontaneous and you've just suddenly got a thought in your head and you can just, you know, let it out. <laughs> If it works, go with it. Don't be like, oh, I'm not in my office, I can't possibly write. And actually, that is another tip. You don't have to be in your office or in your, the place that you've made your writing den to write. It might be that you're on, on the sofa and you're like, actually, let's write in here, or write in your bed, or write in the, the kitchen table, wherever works for you. I think certain times in writing, I can actually feel a little bit cluttered in my brain in here, because this room has so much of me in it. You know, it's got all my favourite pictures in, all my favourite books, or like everything that I love is in this room. Sometimes it's just nice to go in another room that's a little bit more neutral. Wear comfy clothes! Now, I, I've always said that I get up in the morning, I shower and then I get into a fresh pair of pyjamas. I don't do that now I'm a mum. Uh, simply because I think it's a bad example and uh, and people, you know, they knock and you're in your pyjamas, it just doesn't look good. I would say though, wear something really, really comfy. Don't wear anything that's going to be digging into your hip that you want to... <laughs> I wear loose clothes, fairly baggy clothes when I write. And the last thing you want to be feeling is, oh, oh gosh, my jeans are digging into my side, but, uh, you know, not have that extra spoonful of Nutella. Nutella. You're going off into the world of your imagination where you'll be wearing all sorts of funny clothes as the characters that you're, uh, that you're becoming. So just don't worry about it. Just be comfy. Be comfy. I like comfort. Put your phone on silent. My phone's always on silent. I hate, hate, hate my phone ringing. There's nothing like being mid-sentence or whatever and having something interject the, the thought pattern. Get rid of it. It's fine to be without your phone for a couple of hours. Just a couple of hours, people. You do have coffee breaks, like this, or you have lunch breaks, and that's, you know, it's all fine. Make a drink before you start. Like a nice cup of coffee or a tea. Always have a glass of water, actually. Water is good for the brain, it hydrates you. Otherwise, you'll get 15, 10, 15 minutes in and 
you will suddenly be thirsty and that's another reason to get up and leave your desk. So never sit down when you're hungry or thirsty or need the toilet um, because you'll be up before you know it and you know then you have to sit down and start it all again. Just, just get on with it. And I would say start each day by reading what you'd written the day before. That's always good. <laughs> it gets you into the zone of your character and into um, the character's voice. So I'd say that's a very good tip to follow. And I shall be doing that right now when I start again. I think those are my top tips on a successful writing day. Oh, you know what I said about not having Nutella in the cupboard? Well, I would say have Nutella in the cupboard, but know that you're going to treat yourself to a spoonful of Nutella at four o'clock if you've had a really successful day. Or if you've not, actually. It's also good if you've not, just to go, oh, I've had a bad writing day. Spoonful of Nutella? You yeah, know, that's fine too. So yeah, do whatever works for you. Well, that's my top tip top tip in life just do whatever works for you right I've got to get back to writing so I shall see you next week for Coffee with G unless I slip in a little extra bonus video this week um, but who knows I am writing I'll just see how that goes so bye for now and I'll see you next week bye click here to see the Dear Tom Dear Carrie video in which I'm quite a fool and click here to see my Coffee with G becoming an author video um, which it's very inspiring. So, fall and laughter or inspiration. Whichever you fancy going for, just click on it. It's there. Da, 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 da. I'll see you next week. Bye!